Hello, Dr. Lisa Welch here. In light of the COVID-19 pandemic, the CDC has issued new guidelines that we not meet in groups of 10 or more and that we don't go out to bars and restaurants. I want to explain using some simple numbers of why this is important. If we look at just Tarrant County alone, the population is approximately 2 million people. That number is actually higher, but we're going to keep it at 2 million so it's a nice round number to work with. If we look at the predicted number of those that will become infected with COVID-19 and put that at 40%, which is actually a best case scenario um, percentage, some of the experts are recommending that this number might be as high as 70%. So using 40%, 800,000 people in Tarrant County alone will become infected with the COVID-19 virus. Then it's predicted that 7% of those that will require advanced ICU care with many of those needing to be on ventilators. 7% is also a low best case scenario number. In some of the countries who are recently undergoing this pandemic, that number has been as high as 20%. So best case, we have 56,000 people who are needing those advanced ICU care and ventilators. Currently in Tarrant County, we have 362 ICU beds and fewer than that ventilators. So you can see that we can't possibly manage this number of people in that number of beds unless we spread this out over some time. That's the purpose of social distancing is so that we spread it out so that fewer people need the ICU beds at one time and we can manage all those people. If we have ICU beds for all of these people, then the outcome for those people is going to be very good. So we wanna make sure we're following these guidelines of social distancing. Some other things are that are going to affect our outcomes in this area is going to be the number of uninsured in this area. In Tarrant County, on Western Tarrant County, Parker County, and Wise County, that is about 17%. But if you go to Eastern Tarrant County and into Arlington, that number can be as high as 50%. That's going to have a huge impact on our healthcare system and how our hospitals and doctors are getting paid to care for these patients. Another thing that affects this outcome is the number of people without paid sick leave. Without sick leave, many of these individuals will choose to go to work even though they're exhibiting mild symptoms. Therefore, then spreading it on to our larger population and increasing this percentage number and also putting at risk those who are going to be um, at higher risk of having bad outcomes. So, how this impacts our Congressional District of Texas 12? Almost all of these ICU beds in Tarrant County are in Texas 12. All of the ICU beds for Parker and Wise County are in Texas 12. So you can see this is going to have a huge impact on this congressional district. One of the other things I want to talk about is the impact on our health care workers. Our health care workers, particularly those who are working in the IC units, nurses, and our respiratory therapists are going to be under a high amount of strain during this time. I ask that you reach out to them if you know any and help offer with meal prep or any other errands that they might need to have done to simplify or ease their life. They are going to be the real heroes for this pandemic. Thank you.